Hello guys and welcome to part two of this mini-series from All England 2019. It's raining again and Sean and I are wearing twin Yonix jackets, uh, as you can see. That was that was beautiful. And uh, we're on our way to uh, to Kenneth Jonasson, my uh, main coach. As you can see here, I'm in a meeting with uh, Kenneth Jonasson watching a little bit of badminton on the big screen there. Uh, what we're doing is we're sort of talking about uh, my opponent of the day. In this case, uh, it's uh, Shui Chi. The All England is held at Arena Birmingham. The setup there is, is awesome. Uh, I think all players really enjoy coming to All England. Well, I wouldn't say Victor's particularly crazy compared to one or two of the other players that we've had to work for in the past. Um, we provide a free racket stringing service as long as the player's using Yonix rackets and using Yonix string. But I think I first met him at the European Juniors there and he was stringing very, very tight at that time. He's actually come down slightly now, but he's, he uses the Aerobite string, which he obviously likes and gets on well with. It's semi-final and I'm up against Xu Yiqi from China. Always a really tough opponent and he has done really well previously at the All England, winning the title once already. So I knew it was a tough match going into it. Um, however, I also knew that if I played right, uh, I would have my chances. Early in the day, as you saw, I made a plan with Kenneth and I was really pleased to see that I sort of could follow through. And in the third game, I think that I find a really good balance between playing rallies, but also attacking. Also making sure that I didn't attack at the wrong times during the rallies. And as you can see here, I have my family and friends on the, on the stands cheering me on. I was really happy to win. Um, I knew it would be really tough, but I was also really pleased with how I played, especially in the third game. So at this point, I was ready for my first All England final and a dream coming true. is something that I will think back on many years from now as well. I'm lucky that the people closest to me are willing to sort of travel out when they have the opportunity to uh, support me and to share these moments with me. So seeing them there after the match was something really special and something that I will always appreciate a lot. The day has arrived where I have to play my first All England final and I'm up against Kento Momota from Japan. I'm feeling ready and I'm really excited to go on court. Something which can be a bit of a challenge sometimes is actually to time your warm-up right before uh, your match, especially here on, on the final day of the tournament. If the first game is already over and the second game is really close, you sort of have to be ready to go on after two, two sets if, if it ends in, in straight games. But if it goes to three games, you, you have to wait at least 20 minutes more. So even though we've tried it many times, it's something which can be a little bit tricky at times. It's well deserved that Mamota is number one in the world. He's always uh, so tough to play against. He's good in big stadiums, he's good in windy conditions. And I've played him a lot of times and only won once against him many years ago. It's an awesome experience to walk in there, um, seeing all the fans on the seats and a lot of noise, you know, this is a dream setup for an All England final and this moment walking uh, onto court is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a feeling and an experience I will always remember. He's a player I respect a lot and a player that no matter where and no matter when uh, you have to play your best to, to win against him. It's time to start the All England final and uh, as you can see here the first set is on the way. Momota played great, you know he played with great uh, patience and great precision. Uh, however I personally think that I made uh, quite a bit uh, wrong decisions and played without patience and you simply can't do that against uh, Momota so something had to change in the second game. In the second game I tried to see if I could play myself to the right chances and finally during uh, the start of the second game I started to feel that that I sort of could get through with my attack and 
um, the rallies I've sort of worked, you know, gave me gave me a chance in the end to sort of um, score some points. During the third game, though, I got a really good start. Um, I think I got like a three love or four love lead, and um, I felt pretty comfortable at this time. Uh, however, Mamoda, you know, as I expected, and uh, made no mistakes and um, made it just really tough for me. And to be honest, I felt like my power and precision and physical power sort of uh, slipped up in the end, uh, while Mamoda was playing with even more confidence. So I think it was well deserved that Mamoto won the title. Um, I really laid everything I had out there on the court. However, it wasn't enough this time. I think that some of the, the stuff I did in there worked and I'm gonna keep working on that. And hopefully next time when I'm up against Mamoda, I can, I can use this. I can only say that I'm, that I'm doing my best to, to learn from this experience in this match. And uh, I wanna congratulate Mamoda on the win.